AI services are revolutionizing businesses, but some organizations struggle to unlock their full potential with data. That's because their analytics systems are often a complex maze of disconnected services for multiple different vendors. Microsoft Fabric actually addresses this fragmentation by providing a unified analytics platform specifically designed for the AI era. In this episode, we'll explore how Fabric can help you harness potential of your data and accelerate AI innovation. And we'll also cover some great resources for to sharpen your skills. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Aaron Stark, and today I'm joined by my colleagues, Alvaro Videla Godoy and Lena Tay. Today, we're going to be talking about Microsoft Fabric and how it streamlines the data analytics process and integrates new capabilities. Welcome to the show, Alvaro and Lena. Thanks for having me, Aaron. Very excited to be here. And I'm excited to have you both. Now, Alvaro, can you talk to us about Fabric and give us an overview of this solution and what it does for data analytics? Yeah, and so Fabric provides like a next generation data analytics platform that is designed for enterprises that need an all-in-one uh, solution. It encompasses everything from data movement and processing to ingestion, data transformation, real-time event routing, and report building. It does this with a comprehensive suite of services, including data engineering, Power BI, and my personal favorite, real-time intelligence. Since it mostly integrates data and services, it frees up creators to concentrate on unlocking insights and generating value instead of managing uh, infrastructure. Got it. So it seems like it's one cohesive stack instead of a bunch of different services spread across multiple different vendors. But you did mention real-time intelligence. Can you tell us a little bit more why that's your favorite? Yeah, let me tell you about it. So real-time intelligence is a workload in Fabric that enables seamless handling of real-time data. All organizational data in motion converge in a single place called the real-time hub, where you can do everything from ingestion to transformation, querying, and taking immediate action via uh, custom alerts. So it has a simple low-code or no-code interface, which can also be integrated with a code-rich interface. And that's uh, what I really love about it, because it empowers every user to work with real-time data while seamlessly integrated with uh, all of Fabric offerings, as well as uh, many external vendors, such as uh, third-party clouds, where you may be running things like Kafka. Got it. I love that, especially democratizing data analytics. And since real-time intelligence opens doors for more people so that they can work with their data, how can they actually learn how to use it? Yeah, so for that, we have developed uh, a great tutorial. And in that tutorial, you will learn how to set up and use the main features of real-time intelligence with a sample of bicycle data. So you will learn how to set up resources, ingest streaming data, query data in real time to produce a real-time dashboard and visualize the results inside of Power BI. The tutorial is available on Microsoft Learn, and we are actually offering the same content at the various locations around the world throughout the year as part of the traveling Microsoft AI tour. Awesome. Now, I understand you've also built something pretty rad to actually demonstrate real-time intelligence in action. I've heard a little bit about it, and people have mentioned something about a race car. Is this true? Yeah, so we wanted to demonstrate how projects come to life in Fabric. So we built a real-time use case simulating a race engineering team that wants to capture and analyze data from a racing car. Or our team role-played a real-world scenario with parallel workflows while one of us prepared dashboard for real-time metrics, like tire temperatures and speed. Another one leveraged Power BI to provide post-race insights. And another team member designed the entire architecture. We did this entirely by collaborating via Fabric through every stage before finally putting it all together. The end result that you see here provides a real-time analysis while the car is on track, plus comprehensive insights once the driver returns to the garage. But the project also showcased how Fabric enables a multidisciplinary team to work together seamlessly, each in their own expertise. That's actually super, super cool. Who would have ever thought about data and race cars together? Um, but now let me turn to you, Lena. We've covered the real-time intelligence tutorial, but what, about, what opportunities do we have for people who want to dive deeper and learn everything about Fabric? Thank you so much for asking, Aaron. There are some fantastic opportunities, and I'm so excited to share them with everyone here. First, I want to mention our skilling plan on Microsoft Learn, which is all about making your data AI ready with Microsoft Fabric. 
We've designed this plan as a guided learning journey that helps take you through everything from data ingestion to transformation, storage, and exposure. What's really great about this plan is that once you click start, it tracks your progress with milestones, and you can even opt in for helpful email reminders to continue staying on track. When you're finished doing the plan, you can easily share your achievements with your team. That sounds incredible. And once someone's actually leveled up on their skills with Fabric, what can they do or where do they go to find any kind of official credentials that they can work towards as well? Oh, they could definitely work towards earning the Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate Certification, which is actually our fastest growing exam in all of Microsoft history. That's seriously impressive, I can only imagine. Yeah, it's very exciting to see. And honestly, when you're studying for the certification exam, you should be sure to check out our virtual flashcards. If you're curious about how these were created using Microsoft Fabric and Azure OpenAI technologies, we have a workshop for you where you can learn step-by-step -step how to create your own set. Well, perfect. These resources were a great way to learn how to level up your skills with Fabric from first steps all the way to certification. Lena and Alvaro, great to have you both on the show. Thank you so much for joining us today. As always, we've included links to the resources in the description below. If you enjoyed today's episode or found value, please also make sure to leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Azure Essential Show.